Hey everybody, uh, it's Nick here. So uh, I was doing the challenge for rotating the shell. In the end, I turned it into a challenge for rotating the shell uh, randomly and randomizing also the force impulse that comes out because, well, I mean, if you ever shot a gun, um, the force impulse, like, it's not always the same, as in the shells don't always get ejected at the same strength. Sometimes they get ejected further, sometimes they're closer and stuff like that. So uh, as you can see, whenever I shoot, the shells rotate, but there's a random impulse. Sometimes it's closer, sometimes it's further away. And also, once they hit the ground, they don't keep spinning like crazy. I'll show you how to do it. So basically, right, the first thing that I did was the shell ejection, shell ejection impulse. Like, I put an F-math, f, -math, f range, for me, it was 20 and 45. Mind you that the shell blueprint, uh, hold up, content, blueprints, weapon, casing. I made it slightly heavier than it normally is. As you can see, I changed the mass of it and I put it to 0.07. I think it was like 0 0.02 or something. I made it a little bit heavier. So there is that, so keep that in mind. Then, um, <clears throat> I put here a set lifespan to five. So this was for, I think, the other challenge that Steve said. So uh, there is gonna be a lifespan onto the shell casing. After five seconds, after it's being ejected, it will be destroyed. Uh, one important thing I did was make two bulls. One is B sound played. The other one is B has hit. So what happens here is in begin play pretty much nothing changed so it's always the same function here sorry uh, the same thing here like uh, casing mesh at impulse huh? it's just that the shell ejection impulse is now actually it has now actually a math uh, rand range so it's going to be impulsing randomly but here is where i changed a lot of stuff so i put this if check with uh not has hit so while the casing is in the air this is what's gonna happen. Ignore the thingy, actually, I'm gonna remove it. It was a UE log to check if it was working, the code. So I mean, F rotator, delta rotation, the F rotator is zero X, zero Y, and it rotates on the Z randomly. So F math rand range, there you go. That's how it rotates randomly. Then casing mesh, add local rotation, delta rotation, false. One important thing has to be said, it's uh, on, on hit. So here is like, B, not sound played, and shell, uh, shell sound, so uh, still hasn't hit the ground. So here is like, uh, play sound at location, blah, 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 the usual stuff, and then B sound played true, but then you set the actor tick enable to false. Now, if you don't do this, let me comment it out. If you don't do this, what happens is that once you go and shoot, and the shells fall on the floor. They will begin rotating like crazy, as you can see here. Maybe, I'm not sure you can see it very well, but they're rotating like hell. Like, it's ridiculous. They, they look absolutely ridiculous. So, including that, once the shell hits the ground, it's gonna call in set actor tick enabled false. So it will kill whatever was in tick. So all this stuff is gonna stop. Also, remember, you need to set primary actor tick to true, otherwise it's not, tick is not gonna work, even if you put it in. And that's uh, pretty much it. Another important thing that I did, which you might not have done, um, was to include this. Set collision response to channel, um, and the collision channel was pawn, and you need to set it to ignore this because Steve kills the shells once they hit the ground and that's perfectly fine. But if you want to, like me, keep them still there for a little bit, if you, oh, I didn't recompile, they are still spinning like crazy. If you don't kill them right away, like I did, but you instead set a timer because you want to have them spin around for a little bit. What happens is if you run over them, you will start glitching all over the place, right? Like the character will just start glitching like left and right. Now that's really bad if you're trying to aim at something. So the way you fix that is by basically setting the collision to ignore the character. Like that's uh, really important. And 
that's pretty much it. Hope that helped.